Um, today we are at Alan Doyle Crash to catch up with Tyson Hall. Now he has a really cool A86 Levin Coupe and the special thing about this is that it's fully engineered and complied for South Australian roads. So with all the modifications he's done, he can legally pop down to the shop. So we're gonna jump inside and have a look at it. done anything like that in it since I've had it um, and then he contacted me after a drift event and he asked if he wanted to swap with my S13 that I had Oh yeah. so of course I snapped that up so yeah. I swapped that with him with a bit of money obviously his way and then that's it so it already had the yes. when you pretty much how the car sits visually but the I say the foundation of it is how it was when it came in yep it came over here with the Patanabies yeah, um, but it had 15s on it. I ended up getting 14s for it. Yeah, all the seats were in it. The motor was in it. But pretty much, I just replaced everything with all the new bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. So all the new shock works I put in there, new exhaust, um, all interior pieces. Damn, it looks so tidy, man. It looks like it's brand new. Yeah. And this dash. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's an impulse leather dash. So that's what it was sold as. So it's all been retrimmed with the stitching. Yeah. That was all in there. Obviously, I've just put a new steering wheel in it and the that floor mats. Good, so. hey? That should have come back to you like that. Yeah. That looks cool. That no, looks really nice. It ties in well. Yeah, very well. So. A lot of the stuff was on the car. There really wasn't too much to change. Yeah, you know? yeah. Pretty happy with how it looked. Dude, yeah. that would be too. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah. What's it packing under the bonnet? Oh. <laughs> So it's got a big block in it. <laughs> nah, so it's still got the 1.6 in it. Have it's a black top 20 valve. <laughs> it's just a KMS motor. Um, it's, I guess you could say it's sort of like a crate motor as such. They put it in, they want to dyno it. Um, they won't let anyone else really touch their motors. Yeah. Um, and that come in it from Japan. Uh, all we've done is changed it to E85. All the headers and everything was on it, so pretty much as is, just a retune. When it come over here, oh, I changed the ECU. Yep. So it come over with a Freedom ECU, which a lot of cars do from Japan. Um, but however, tuners over here aren't too familiar with that sort of setup. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just got a Daptronic on it. Um, yeah, set awesome. of one J injectors, which are like a drop-in package. Yep. Got the signature KMS uh, intake with open throttle bodies inside. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And one of the really cool features about this car is that like in South Australia, it's legal, yeah. it's registered, and yeah. you can just pop down the shops whenever yeah, you definitely. want. Nah, so yeah, it's all engineered. It actually got defected after I had it for probably about a year. Yeah. Um, in SA here, that's kind of a big deal. Pretty much, they defect your car, you need to take it back to their stop. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which with this, it was just going to be too much work. So you can either do that or spend the money and get it all 100% road legal. Uh, which I've done, so it was off the road for about nine months. Yep. Which R&D Mechanical down south sorted all that out for me. Um, so props to those guys, um, and they handled everything. The engineer, they took it to the inspection for me. They had to hire out the airport. So it's a big process. Yeah. 
but so, worth it, man. Yeah, That's so definitely. cool that you can just cruise around yeah, and, and enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we've actually got a group here in Adelaide as well. It is, it's now Australia-wide. Other than mate Joe started up called A86 Creams. There's the logo here. There's just a whole bunch of guys that enter these little Corollas and we catch up for sort of hang out, get pizza and <laughs> You know, try out all different pizza places and go for little drives. And yeah, yeah, that's a cool way to enjoy the car. Yeah, definitely. Everyone loves pizza, and we all love the A6s. So. <laughs> it's a winning combination. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Shockworks was definitely a must. Yeah. Um, it did have some digital like G ready ones on it. When it come from Japan, which are pretty cool, but they were really, really stiff. Yeah, it was okay. either stiff or stiffer. <laughs> um, which is probably alright for you know the track and whatnot, but yeah. our Australian roads just no. Yeah. Do you know what spring rating you run? No, I back? can't remember. I think they're like a 3.5 rear and yeah. four and a half front or something. They're really soft. Yeah. Um, but they work really well. Yeah. Yeah. And two way. Yeah, so it's got there. a two way in it, it's got a Cusco center in it. Yeah. Um, it's got 5.3 diff gears in it, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, it's not great for highways, but I'm not going to be doing too many road trips on this thing. Yeah, perfect. Alright, man, she looks good, but it's a bit of a tease, it just parked here. We've yeah. got we to see how it sounds and go for a cruise. We'll go for a drive. What do you reckon? Right, right. Grab something to eat. Hand you the keys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Alright, we'll go for a drive. 